the American Psychological Association has talked about why this is. And so let's show you some more of the data. There it is. Men gained 37 pounds, women 22, millennials 41 pounds. Really millennials? And you think you know it all? That's another subject. Part of our special series, Spring Clean Your Life, we brought in, well, the experts. And this woman is known as America's nutrition coach. She's going to help us get back to eating healthy. Dr. Ravinia Brock, who you may know as Dr. Rowe from her appearances on Dr. Oz and The View. She'll get you all the way together. And that's where we're going to start, Dr. Mm. Rowe. I love you already. Um, you I notice you something, so you messy. have a keen, I, I love it. You got a keen eye, Dr. Rowe. And when we were doing audio checks in the commercial break, you saw something. It greatly concerned you. And I think that we should start there. Well, you know, we're talking about spring cleaning our diet, right? So one of the things mm -hmm. I noticed during our audio check was that Mike was having um, some fruited yogurt, so flavored with fruit, oh. um, which happens mm. to contain a mm. lot of sugar. So I want to start yeah. here. If, we, if we're <laughs> going to spring clean our diet, the first thing I want you to do to get your life together mm -hmm. is to cut added sugar. Mm -hmm. And the reason is because, you know, Americans by and large eat about, you know, uh, 68 grams of sugar a day. The recommendation is 22 grams for women and 36 grams a day for men. So you can already see how that's a problem. And one of the ways that you can make a simple swap is to replace your fruited yogurt, Mike, <laughs> with, mm. you know, plain <laughs> yogurt. them all the way together. With, with plain yogurt. And you can add your own fresh fruit. The difference is there's a lot of sugar typically in fruited yogurt, added sugar, not just the fruit that you put in there. So if you want to add a, a, a bit of fruit yourself, that's your best bet. That's mm. all I'm saying. Other simple swaps are instead of having store-bought salad dressing, you can add um, vinegar, balsamic vinegar to extra virgin olive oil and save tons of sugar there. You'd be surprised how sugar mm -hmm. is so innocuous, it shows up in everything. And we're talking about added sugar. Like the difference between um, a juice, a 16 ounce bottle of apple juice and a fresh apple could be over 50, 50 grams of sugar, believe it or mm. not. Whereas mm. you get not yeah. only just 19 grams of nature sugar um, in the apple, but you also get fiber, which helps to stabilize your blood sugar. So what I'm saying is we wanna cut added sugar to the greatest extent possible. And because one of the things that it's gonna do is not only protect you from heart disease, from type two diabetes, from over 13 um, obesity related cancers and fatty liver disease if you happen to be obese but also it can help you to maintain a healthy weight and that's what we're talking about my patients mm, were showing yeah. up with the COVID 20 and the COVID 30 not the COVID 15 so this study is real it's happening in real life and the, and the problem is that we're eating our feelings but we're not eating we're not overeating Cal we're not overeating mm -hmm. um, uh, celery sticks and carrots. We're munching mm -hmm. on constantly Snacks. foods high fat, salt, and sugar. Yeah. Yeah, and mm -hmm. the sugar mm -hmm. is yeah. real. I I, I'm pretty sure he had a tumbler full of orange or apple juice, some concoction I also saw him with. But I want to no, know about water. monk fruit sugar because... Well, but I don't want to put them on the mm -hmm. spot, Dr. Rowe, but monk fruit sugar, is that a good substitute? Because I see it at the market. I'm using it. It tastes like real sugar. I got it from my parents, too. Is, is that okay? So here's the thing. Anything that says sugar is sugar. <laughs> so if sugar is mm. at the end of the word, if the word, if the, if O-S-E, if you see an ingredient on a label for food that you're about to eat that ends in O-S-E, O-S, that is a sugar. And it means it's an Ooh. added sugar. So every time, you know, every time you see O-S-E, you want to look at the grams of sugar and look at the grams of added sugar specifically. Uh. Avoid added sugars that end in O-S-E because they are the same as table sugar. They're the same as a granulated sugar. And some of them are more but, damaging, like fructose is one, for example. High, high fructose mm -hmm. corn syrup is much more damaging so um and the more by the way if you want to substitute sugars 
um, rather than um, cut them back, know that if you use sugar substitutes, they are often six to 10 times more wow. sweet than sugar. And what wow. does that do? Mm -hmm. It trains your taste buds to crave yep. more foods, yep. more sweet foods. Right. Yep. Well, wow. for the record, I use uh, organic agave in my coffee. And yes, I do need to cut back on the sugars. And uh, uh, yeah, but here's the thing, Dr. Rowe, and I appreciate you helping me out because I need to help myself. But, you know, I'm stressed, you know, being black in this country right now, uh, sometimes <laughs> working with co-hosts mm -hmm. that kind of just grate you a little bit. You know, you could be stressing. You just, Kevin. you know, you, you need like you need comfort Kevin. food. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, how mm -hmm. do I in the pandemic, what you're going through everything, you got this comfort food. Well, g give me some substitutes for those like you talked about, some of those snacks that you go and run to. And if I don't like celery, give me something that's at least tasty that I can actually run to yeah. and, 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 and fulfill my comfort and, and get over my pain yeah. from Sharon. I mean, Kevin. For what, so what I want you to know, Mike, is first of all, when we're talking about eating, eating for comfort, that's a deeper problem. So I specialize in emotional mm. eating. And so I deal, I help women and families through this problem like every day, all day. But, but so we go a lot deeper because we really need to find out what's eating you if you are comforting yourself with food. Um, having said that, there are substitutes. And so there are things that you can eat. So for example, if sugar is your thing, let's just say you like ice cream. A lot of people do. They run to the freezer and look for their best friends, their two best, best friends, Ben and Jerry, um, in the times of stress, right? So um, there's something uh -huh. called, uh, that I call nice cream that you can just take like mm. uh, a quarter cup of almond milk. Like, and we're talking about almond milk that's only 30 calories and that is sugar, that's no added sugar. And put that in a, mm. um, a food processor with frozen bananas or frozen mango or mm. frozen strawberries. Pulse it to the consistency of ice cream and voila, there you have it. So you have a, you have a dessert um, that you can eat at any time that is under 100 calories and that doesn't contain added sugar, but still you got your sweet fix. Does that make sense? That makes a lot of sense. Dr. Oh. Rowe, you have been incredible. We appreciate you. Uh, we, we actually need to talk more to you because I'm actually down 15 pounds since the quarantine, you know, kind of subsided. I gained 18. I'm down 15, so I'm on my way. I don't know if you want to ask Sharon what she's down or if she's up or she's the same, but you know what? Well, I was going to start Dr. on Dr. Monday. <laughs> Next Monday, Dr. Rowe is my start date, okay? He's all he's in my business. Always he said that. Time yeah, we really appreciate Sharon. you. Three Mondays. Thank you. Thank there's you. She said that three Mondays ago. Thank you for all you've done. Yeah. Put the sugar in <laughs> yogurt, though. Thank finish. you, Dr. Rowe. <laughs> Yeah. I appreciate right. you, Ro. Appreciate you. See, you too. Always Sharon, come back you're too and sweet. check on That's him. the reason why I can't. Yeah, okay. Sharon. I'm going to take some pictures behind the scenes, send them to you, Dr. Ro. You'll be back in a week or two, and we'll see what's been done, okay? And then I'm going to crank you. it up a little bit. You, you know how you can do it. You know how you can get a little stern I can feel an with the stethoscope on. I can feel Okay. I got okay. one ab. I got I can feel. It used to be one big round ab. Okay. Now I can feel like a little. Anyway, that's another. Thank you, Ro. Appreciate Progress, you, Dr. Ro. Progress, baby step. <laughs> love Gaston, yeah, I'm, I'm from Bessemer. I, I love it.